Hello, hello, good evening everyone. How are you today? Hi, teacher. Hello, hi, how are hey. you guys? Good evening. Good evening, hi, teacher. I hope you're doing fine and welcome to the class. How are you? Are you tired today? Are you sleepy? Very tired. Hungry? Very tired. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Ezekiel. Okay, Maggie, I'm sorry to hear that about your internet. I okay. hope that it's going to work fine later on. <laughs> sorry if you okay. send me messages, but I haven't uh, checked my phone yet. Um, okay, yeah. teacher. Okay. Oh, you're welcome. Christian is a listener. Great, thank you, Daniel. Okay, Christian and Sabrina. Okay. So Sabrina, Luis, and Christian. Okay. I believe we will start the class, guys. <clears throat> because time is over. I mean, time is up. It's 8.06. Okay, uh, it's okay, Ezekiel. I'm sorry to hear you're sick. Okay, Ezekiel as well. Too many people. Okay. That is going um to be a listener today, but it's fine, guys. <clears throat> okay, perfect, guys. So we will start with the class today. Um, let me see. I will share the screen. So we will start. Just allow me one moment. We will have, uh, uh, guys, we will have a, um, a review about yesterday's class. But let me share with you this. All right, the presentation. Today, we will go ahead and talk about speaking. Uh, we will go ahead and speak, sorry, about everyday tasks. Okay, speaking about everyday tasks. This is the class number eight. And before to start everyday tasks, we will have a review about adverbs of frequency, okay? Yesterday we started studying this topic and we said that the adverbs of frequency tell us how often something takes place, all right? So uh, normally you answer the question, the question how often? How often do you do something? How often do you wake up? How often do you come uh, uh, home, uh, let's say, late? How often do you spend your Christmas with friends? How often do you play tennis? How often do you go to the library? How often do you listen to the radio, etc. All right? So you will answer with any of these adverbs of frequency, we can say always, here is the percentage of the frequency of these adverbs, okay? Here you have the percentage. We have 100% for always, 90% for usually, 80% for normally, generally, then we have 70% for often and frequently, 50% for sometimes, 30% for occasionally, 10% for seldom, 5% for rarely and hardly ever, and 0% for never, okay? So we say always, I always wake up at six o'clock. I usually come home after work. 
I normally swim after school. I often spend spend Christmas with friends. I sometimes play tennis on weekend. I occasionally eat Vietnamese food. I seldom go to the library. I rarely listen to the radio. I hardly ever listen to the radio. I never listen to rock music, all right? Those are just some examples about adverse of frequency. Do you happen to have any questions about adverse of frequency, guys? Questions about adverse of frequency? No questions? <clears throat> Okay, uh, we will have a review right now, like a game. Let's play a game regarding adverse of frequency. If I don't have questions for you, then I have, some, no, I don't have, yes, then I have questions. I mean, if you don't have questions for me, then I have questions for you. <laughs> okay, but this is about your daily uh, life, okay? Daily life um, experience, let's say. So let me share this screen with you and we will uh, spin the wheel, okay? That's the game that we will play, spin the, the wheel, all right? Let me know if you see the screen. Do you see the screen, guys? Let me get a second, let me, uh, one moment. Cause, let's see, all right. Draw the wheel and a twist pin. All right, here we have. Today you're so quiet. Why you're so quiet today? Okay, but here we have Mr. Avelar, Mr. Florentino. Why you're so quiet today? Mr. <laughs> Merino. I really know. I, really, I, I don't quiet because I pay attention when you are talking. You're tired. I pay attention. Ah. Me too, me too. Ah. I pay attention to you. Everyone is paying attention. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Mr. Flores. Right. Okay. Okay, I believe you guys. <laughs> okay, so, guys, I miss um, Ezekiel here, but Ezekiel is sick, all right? I miss the ones who are not here and the ones who are not participating but i understand guys all right so let's see uh we have this spin here i mean we have this wheel sorry we will go ahead and spin the wheel just allow me one second because oh here we have it okay we will spin the wheel and then you will answer some questions using frequently uh frequency adverbs okay you will be asked the question, how often? How often do you do something, all right? And you will answer with the frequency of uh, adverse of frequency, okay? For example, if I ask you, guys, how often do you eat? Um, uh, I, I just forgot that, but okay, I will say pizza. <laughs> I forgot that, that the, the food that I was going to be saying. No, I just forgot it. Okay, pizza. And then you say, teacher, I always eat pizza. Or teacher, I usually eat pizza. Or teacher, I never eat pizza. I don't like it. Okay? So you will use the frequency of adverbs. All right? So let's do it. I will, by the way, I will say the name of the person who will participate. Okay? So let's. This question will be for Jennifer. Jennifer, are you here, Jennifer? Yes, teacher, I am. Great, welcome, Jennifer. Okay, Jennifer, how often do you post on social media? Excuse me, teacher. Uh, how often do you post on social media? Ooh, I... <clears throat> readily I rarely okay yeah. <laughs> great you rarely Jennifer rarely posts on on social media very good Jennifer 
Jennifer, could you please choose another person here in the class to participate? Um, okay, teacher. Kenny, can you listen? Oh, Lisette. All right, Lisette, are you here, Lisette? Lisette, Lisette? Yes, I'm here. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Lisette. All right, let's continue then with the next one, next question, all right? And the next question will be for Lisette, all right? Lisette, hmm, how often, often do you gossip with your friends? Hmm, Lisette. <gasps> Always. <laughs> <laughs> Every day. Uh, I always okay, let's complete the answer. Um I always gossip with my friends. Very good. Thank you very much. Gossip like telling many things about the others. Somebody. <laughs> I I don't I didn't want to say that. <laughs> No, communi communicate with others. ¿Verdad, Chicle. Chicle. Yes. It's not chambre. It's to communicate with others. <laughs> okay, chicle, dice. <laughs> All right, let's continue with the next one. Hmm. Lisa, choose another person. Mm, For Fatima. the one who said chicle. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just kidding. Fatima. Okay, Fatima. The next one is for you, Fatima. Are you here? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Fatima, how often do you go to the doctor? I rarely go to the doctor. Why, Fatima? <laughs> <laughs> no, it is because you're 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 good. I mean, your health is perfect. So perfect. My sister is my doctor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Fatima. So I often go to the doctor, right? Oh, sorry, you said I rarely. Uh, uh, Fatima said she rarely goes to the doctor. Okay, great. Fatima, choose another person, please. Hey, hi. Thank you, Mr. Avelar. <laughs> okay, thank you, Fatima. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Mr. Avelar, how often do you get money from your grandparents? I never get money from <laughs> for my grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you believe him? Yes, right. Yes. Okay. So Jaime never gets money from his parents. Okay, great. Hi, Mesh is another person, sir. Hi, Mesh is another person that will answer how often does he or does she dance in her, her or his bedroom? We can hear you. I'm oh, sorry, <laughs> my microphone is off. Uh, Marcos Amilcar. Marcos Amilcar. Ha ha, Marcos Amilcar. How often? Be honest, okay? How often do you dance in your bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> say the truth, say the truth. Just think about this. If you say, I never dance in my bedroom, then the others will say, mm, Amilcar is so bored. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Aha, Amilcar. Okay, teacher. I rarely dancing in the bedroom. Osvin, do you believe him? Yes, I know, not dancing. Kenny, do you believe him? Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't believe. Mm, 
Y mire, Ospi no defiende. <laughs> ok, thank you, no worries. Thank you, Milka. Milka, choose the next person, ok? Who's next, Milka? Ok, ok, teacher. Vamos, vamos a saber por acá. Eh, Daniel Ezequiel. Ezequiel. Ezequiel, okay. It's just this time, Ezequiel. How often do you sit in the shower? You can answer it on the chat if you want. Ezekiel? Ezekiel is a listener today, but okay, um, you can answer in the chat. How often do you sing in the in the shower, Ezekiel? Okay, he always sing in the shower. Hey, teacher, the, the question is down is uh, is down to the how often do you sing in the shower? How often do you live in the school? How do you start? How do you what I'm saying? How often do you live at the school? How often do you sleep at the school? <laughs> no, it's how often do you sit in the shower? No, and, and the other person. Not... Oh, oh, do you want to answer that one? No. <laughs> Okay, so, but um, Ezekiel always seen in the shower, since in the shower. He loves it, okay? He loves it. All right, very good. So, how often do you sleep at, at the school? Uh-huh. I, I think you, you write this question for Christian, no? Ah, yes. But Christian is not here. Yes. <laughs> But Christian will say, I always sleep. I always sleep in, in English classes, right? <laughs> no, Christian, we're kidding, okay? Where is Christian, by the way? He's a listener? Yes, he's a listener today, but okay. Sorry, Christian. They are saying, I didn't say that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, guys. All right, let's continue. Who's next, guys? Who's next? Uh huh. Oswin. Oh no no sorry. Let's see let's see. Uh, Oswin exactly. Okay. <laughs> within the same within the same. Okay. Very good Ezekiel. So let me see. Let's see the next one for Oswin. All right. So. Uh, I, I got this one is the same one, so we will spin it again. All right, let's spin it again. I don't know what's going on, why it is so slow. Okay, how, what is going on here? It's so slow, okay, let's let's start again. Um, no, that cannot be possible, all right. What's going on with this? Nothing, nothing, don't stop it. <laughs> Okay, here we have another one, mm, the green one. Okay, no. <laughs> How often do you take a bus, Osbin? Um, I always take the bus. Which one, Osbin? Which one? Um, the 42B. Santa Ana. <laughs> oh, are you from Santa Ana? Yes. You no, look no, like... Uh, Lourdes, Lourdes Colón. Ah, okay, okay. Very good. Okay, great. Thank you. I got you. I got you. Okay, and choose the next person, Osbin. Okay. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> Daniel Archimedes. Uh -huh, Aha, Daniel. Be honest with us, please. Daniel, how often do you watch soap operas on TV? 
Ayo always. <laughs> Very Go good. Sigo TV always. on the TV. So I, I don't confident? really know. No, 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 really, but, but only so for a few minutes. Only, yes, yes. So popular. Only for a few minutes, but not complete. Few minutes? Mm. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about Pedro Lescamoso? Ah, do you watch Pedro Lescamoso? <laughs> oh, Betty, la, the, the beauty Betty. Betty. Uh -huh, be, Betty La Fea, right? <laughs> okay. Right. What's your favorite soap opera? When I was a child, I watched the, the uh, Rosa Salvaje, Cuna de Lobos. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> very good. Teresa, Pasión de right? Gavilanes. <laughs> Pasión de Gavilanes. <laughs> I haven't watched yeah. the second part. The second part of Pasión de Gavilanes. It is already in, but I don't have cable, TV cable. So that's the reason I'm not watching it. But I, that's my favorite one, Pasión de Gavilanes. <laughs> yeah, when I was a child, I watched the TV in black and white. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. Pedro el Escamoso, okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Ezekiel said, said that um, her, his favorite soap opera is Pedro el Escamoso. I'm watching Pedro el Escamoso right now. <laughs> okay, perfect. Let's continue then. <clears throat> let's go to two more, okay? Two more examples. Who's next, Daniel? Linda Magali. Hi, Linda Magali is a listener today. Uh, Jennifer, Naomi. All right, Jenny. Jennifer. Again, right? No worries, Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, what's going on with this? How often? Okay, another one, guys. I don't know. Okay, now, now it's going to work. Now it's going to work. <laughs> oh my god uh, it didn't work sorry I <laughs> waited for command. don't <laughs> do it fast <laughs> I'm not doing it teacher mm, what's going on with this I believe it's not working anymore this wheel mm. okay no okay yes how often do you go for a walk at night Jennifer, um, I I readily do uh, because mm -hmm. uh, the security in the uh, country. Yes, that's yeah. fine. You're right. You're right. Thank it's you. Not good. <laughs> okay. Yes, it's not good. Very <laughs> good, Jennifer. Choose the last person. The last one. Okay. Um, Someone. Marielos? Marielos. Marielos, are you there? Marielos? Is Marielos here? Yes, he's here. Okay, Marielos, how often do you go to the shopping mall? Marielitos, how often do you go to the shopping mall? Sorry, sorry, I'm in mute. Uh, I am occasionally go to the shopping mall. Oh, sorry, you say I usually? Sí, I usually. Ah, okay. No, 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 occasionally, occasionally. Occasionally, very good, great, thank you. Okay, guys, perfect. So thank you very much for playing this. Um, all right, spinning the wheel, spinning the wheel. Now we will continue then with the next topic, okay? <clears throat> but I would like to ask you before we go to the next topic, do you have questions about others of frequency, guys? Questions about these? No, yes, maybe. No. No teacher. No teacher. Everything clear like water, right? 
Yes, like water, yes. No. Like contaminated water. Po pollute pl pollute water. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh go to the next one, okay? Okay, we got a speaking practice right now on the page 25. And what we'll do it, I hopefully we will do it in pairs. Go to the page 25, guys, please. Page 25. Oh, okay, we got a, the conversation. We got another convers conversation here. Okay. I, I just would like to ask you uh, two questions before you, uh, well, we uh, practice this conversation and I would like to ask you guys, who interviews future employees in your company? Guys, who interviews future employees in your company? What is teacher interviews? Interviews? Um, to make an interview to ask questions about you, like for example, hey, um, tell me about yourself. Could you please tell me about your strength, your weakness? Uh, what would you like to be hired? What do you know about the company? Okay, it is a conversation between two people in order to get a job. Sometimes it's in order to get a job or to get a, um, um, how do you say that? A scholarship, okay, scholarship, una beca, okay, un trabajo. Es una entrevista, interviews. So interview is entrevista y interview as well es entrevistar. So who interviews, aquí es con la S porque es en third person, who interviews future employees in your company? Human resources. Mm -hmm. Human resources, very good. Okay, so guys, um, let's go ahead and think about the regular activities that you normally do in a day. Let's list five activities that you regularly do, okay? Activities that you do in a regular day. Five activities that you always do every single day. Five activities, all right, five. Let's go ahead and, and write down five activities you do in a regular day. Guys, in order for you to write those activities, you can do it in present, simple present. For example, I start working at 5.30 a.m. One activity. Number two, I, um, I have breakfast at 8.30 a.m. Number two. Number three will be I prepare lunch at... 1 p.m., number three. Number four, I clean my house in the afternoon. Okay, number four. Mm, let's see. I take a walk in the afternoon with my pets, number five. Okay, I get five activities that I normally do. Okay, so write down five activities. And now, while you are writing, I will go through the attendance list, okay? While you are writing those five activities that you normally do every single day, I will go through the attendance list. One moment, guys. Okay, just help me out to say present, guys. And today, let's see. Jessica, is it, are you here? Or Jonathan, you already passed. Um, Julio Cesar Marino, you will stay with me in a one-on-one -on -one session, right? You said yesterday. 
Julio César Merino puede quedarse conmigo en la sesión uno a uno ahora. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, so today is Thursday the 23rd. Okay. Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Present teacher. Cristian José López Pérez. Present. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present. Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Present. Estela Mabel Orellana del CIN. Present teacher. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. Jennifer Noemi Mata Aragón. Present teacher. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Present teacher. Julio César Merino González. Present. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Kenny Lizette Cuellar de Barrientos. Present teacher. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Say present in the chat. Okay. Great. Uh, Marcos Amilcar Mancía Gutierrez. Present teacher. Great. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Marcos, what's going on with Marcos? Marielo Janet Cornejo Arazo. Present teacher. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Present teacher. Oswin Alexis Flores Hernández. Present teacher. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Present. Lizeth del Carmen Hernández Miss Smith. Present. And Fatima Denise Aguilar Marquez. Present teacher. <coughs> okay, very good, guys. Let's see, let me go back. All right, guys. So let's see. I will ask. Julio Cesar Merino, could you please share with us the five activities that you do in a regular day? No, teacher. No. No, sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's think about then, Julio Cesar. Piénsela. Después le voy a preguntar. Yes. Eh, es que era actividad, teacher, o qué? Sí, era evaluada. Híjole, teacher, sorry, es que fíjese que hoy ha sido un día demasiado ocupado por el tráfico llegado a mi casa. No, mentira, y... Julio, estoy bromeando. Y aún, no, pero y aún sí. Estoy... Es. Está aún estoy trabajando. Sí, de que verdad, tengo. bueno, no se preocupe. Sí, preocupa, pero, pues. sorry, sorry, es que... No lo estoy molestando, estoy, pero... Es que, <ríe> y el, el jefe... Que usted hace al día, solamente. Pero no era evaluado, ah, estoy bromeando. Ah, yes, yeah, ah, o sea que le, le tengo que decir. <ríe> sí, pero yes. piénsela, so, yes. si está ocupadito, usted trata de hacerlos tranquilos. Después lo voy a... Lo voy a preguntar al final, ¿ok? Yes, teacher, thank you, sorry, sorry. No, no don't worry, teacher. yo lo estaba molestando. Okay, okay Mabel, you. Mabel, give me five activities that you do in a regular day. Okay, teacher. I get up at 5 or 13 a.m. 
I take a shower at 5.40 a.m. I arrive to my job at 8 a.m. I check my email in the morning every day. I take my lunch at 12. Very good. Thank you. Good job, Stella Mabel. All right. Uh, let's see. Estefania, could you please share with us five activities that you do in a regular day? Estefania? Hello, Estefania, Estefania. <laughs> Julio Cesar Ramirez, could you please give me five activities that you do in a regular day? Julio Cesar? Jessica El Carmen, Jessica El Carmen, give me five activities you do in a regular day. Okay, Jessica, Julio, or Estefania. Okay, teacher. Uh, Thank you. Call clients. Okay, I call uh, clients. Okay. I call clients. I prepare lunch. Good. Uh, I reply reply emails. Great. Uh, make reports. I may report. I okay. may report and I uh, reunion mi meeting, verdad? I have meeting. I, meeting. I have meeting. Very good, Jessica. Wonderful. Very good. Okay, Jonathan, are you a listener? Yes, teacher, but um, uh, um, I can answer your question. So great. I don't know in this moment what is the the question. The question is, what? Uh, give me five activities that you do in a regular day. Okay. Um, my day. Uh, are you, Are you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, my day begins at say, at six o'clock and I go to work and at a um at eight o'clock I have to check my email after that on Monday I have to meeting with my boss um uh, already of 2 a.m I have the lunch okay. after that and in the afternoon I I have another meeting it's a regular day it's a regular day. Very good. Thank you. Good job. All okay. right. Perfect. Let's see. Um, could you please share with us your regular day? Um, Jaime? Okay. Um, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, okay. sir. Um, every day. We can hear you now, Jaime, your microphone. I don't know what happened, but. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, every day I go to the work at 6.15 a.m. And I take a bre breakfast at 6.14. And I start the class at 7.30. And I take a my lunch at uh, 11 15 and i have an english class english class at 8 p.m to 10 p.m okay great job perfect thank you mm -hmm. jaime okay guys good job great so now we have this conversation between celia and marcos okay teacher teacher sorry I'm yes. ready. Yes. Great. Yes. Sorry, yes. Julio. Yes. Go for it. Go. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. Perdón, teacher. No, it's uh, fine. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I I have um um six 
I'm five three team I I am. Mm -hmm. um, um, take it. I'm 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 bath. Me baño. Oh, yes, you uh, you you take a bath. Uh huh. Yes, I take in the the bus to work. Uh huh. Right. Yes, I visit my clients. Very good. Um, I taking a break for my breakfast. Okay, great. Yes, it's hard, teacher. Very good, Julio. Wonderful. Thank I you. really Thank like you. them. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So, Fatima, Fatima, could you please help me? Fatima and Kenny, could you yes. please help me to read this conversation? Let's do something. Um, yes. You start, Kenny, and then Fatima. Okay. Thank Good you morning, and Fatima. Good morning, Fatima. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interview some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some change in the Shadow, sketcher. Sketcher. Mm -hmm. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes. I reset. Rescheduled. Rescheduled. Some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, how about you? Just the usual. Checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Inventory. 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 Very good, girls. Good job. Perfect. Okay, so guys, questions about the vocabulary? Rescheduled. Rescheduled. Rescheduled is. Uh, <clears throat> Reprogramar, reschedule. Mm -hmm. Reschedule. Another qu uh, question about the, the vocabulary? Did, how do you say it in Spanish? Uh, Recepción? Uh, uh, in English, uh, recession. Recepción? Aha, uh -huh, recepción. Mm -hmm. yeah. In English, recession. Reception. <laughs> reception. Re? Oh. Reception. Okay. Exactly. Reception. Thank you, Maggie. All right. So, guys, okay. um, let's go ahead and repeat some words here. Okay. Let's repeat. Um, Let's see. Uh, repeat after me, please, guys. Finished. 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 Mm -hmm. um, let's see. <laughs> um, let's see. I, I'm just thinking about something. Give me just one second. I'm, I'm hesitating about this. Help me, guys. Ustedes que se acuerdan de esto, porque I don't remember. Finish. Este, este, este eh, verbo en pasado, ¿cuál es el, um, la pronunciación de la ED? ¿Es finished o finished? No me acuerdo, la finished. verdad. Ayúdenme. Finish. 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 Maybe finished it's the... or finished. 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 
Finish. Es con la E de, like, it is with B or it is with T? T. T. T? With Finish. Which one? B or T? Oh my gosh. With D. Finish. Finish it es, es finalizando, ¿verdad, teacher? Y finish es que se sí. termina. Ah, yes. Exactly. Pero la pronunciación de la E de. Vamos a ver si se acuerdan. Hmm. Um, el último sonido de finish, normal, sin la ED. ¿Cuál es el último sonido de finish? La H, finish. No, el sonido. ¿Háganme el sonido? The, the sound finish. 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 Ok, toast your throw, toast your throw, por favor, toquen su gargantita, throw, y me dejan saber si finish. tienen vibración cuando termina la última sonido. Finish. Finish. Yes. finish. finish. No. No. All right. No. No. Ok, no, all right. Okay. No suena, no suena. Ok, no suena. So, Ok, so, cuando no tiene vibración, ¿le ponemos la T o le ponemos la D? ¿La, la T cuando no tiene vibración? ¿La T? Ok. Cuando no ¿Qué? tiene vibración. Y cuando, cuando no tiene, tiene. vibración. Y cuando tiene es la T, finish it. Y cuando no es no, de este, finish, finish Cuando no vibra, T, right? Yes. Ok. What do you think, guys? Uh -huh. ¿Están de acuerdo con, con, con Daniel? Mm, no. <laughs> no. No. I, uh -huh. I, 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 I agree with me or disagree with me. Uh -huh. Do you agree or disagree with him? Así va. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Put your hand if you agree with me. Mm -hmm. Guys. Thank you. I didn't know this rule about the vibration, but I remember it's with D. I don't know if I I I am I mistaken. Cry. Guys, nadie le no se acuerdan que alguien les enseñó esta regla. But not to me, teacher. Yeah, yo, yo se las when, when I do yes, remember. But I yes, um, but I be boy. Uh -huh. chiquito. No, pero los que estaban conmigo, guys, yo se las enseñé. What level? Yes, teacher. Previous level. <laughs> sí, y tengo este y le estoy dando vuelta. Previous level se los enseño. The last? The... I'm sorry. I didn't remember. <laughs> no, I don't remember. Creo, pero, creo que sí, last, last course, right? Last course? ¿Fue last course or previous course? I have to check the videos. <laughs> No, creo que fue como el cuarto, quinto, ¿no? Y todos callados, miren. No, guys. I don't, with, I don't forgive you. It's with the letter D. Finish. Christian, yes or no, que I taught this topic. I don't remember the rule, but I don't remember the rule. But no, I pero si usted se acuerda que yo le enseñé eso. Yes, no, I remember. no me acuerdo la regla peor. Yes, me a I remember you, you, you was learned this topic. Yes, I did it, guys. Thank you. Yes, but I don't, I don't remember the rule, but I know. I know, I know. I know the letter is Z with the pronunciation, with the pronunciation is with letter D. D, finished. Finished? Yes. <clears throat> sure. 
Uy, guys, vayan a reparar, repasar eso, please. Is this Miss Letter D? Or no? Mr. Jaime, what do you think? Thank you, Chris. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Pero quiero escuchar a los demás también. Hmm. Porque yeah. todos calladitos aquí. I don't know. Teacher, I don't remember the rule, but I, I think it's the T sound. T sound? Yes. T or D? T or T, D, guys? T. 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 Christian? Entonces, Christian. <laughs> Put the word in a internet. I... You can you can listen the sound is with letter D. Pero vaya, yo les quiero preguntar, aunque lo pongamos en el internet, aunque nos recordemos o no, hay una manera de verificar sí o no. For me, because the the verb is mm. regular. Mm. When the verb is, is regular and the end with ed, the pronunciation is with letter D. But when mm -hmm. I use irregular, the, the pronunciation of the N is with letter T. Christian. No, all the verb, but I know the finish in the past is finish D, con D. Le voy a mandar el video hoy, de nuevo, y lo venga. Please, teacher, because I don't remember. Please, because I know but, the rule, I don't remember what size. No, the, but, the, uh -huh, exactly. I don't know but, how. But uh, the last teacher uh, teach me that. Uh, El ve when, que si dice bien cabal de la When, when, when the, uh, no, we used to be in the past. <laughs> when the bird is using in the past, uh, you can, the sound in the end of the word is but it worked. Uh, talk it, uh, whatever in the past is the sound is it with with the vibration in your throat. Exactly. Es <laughs> muy importante la la vibración. Eh, guys, es muy importante saber de que cuando ustedes tienen vibración en el último sonido del de la um, del verbo. Sorry. Cuando hay vibración, el último sonido siempre va a terminar en Cristian. Oh, D. D, yes. <ríe> cuando termina con vibración el último sonido. Y cuando no tiene vibración, cuando no tiene vibración, termina entonces en Daniel. Okay, with any sounds. <ríe> <risa> no, cuando no tiene vibración en el último sonido, ¿cuál es la pronunciación? Ajá, with T, exactly. Yes. Entonces, como no tiene vibración el vea, el cuál era la palabra, o sea, me olvidó ya, oh my god. Pero terminaba en she, ¿verdad? Finish. 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 Y como no tiene vibración, entonces en cuál te, en cuál es la pronunciación? No tiene vibración. Finish. T, right? Ok, sorry que, 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 que hablé mucho para decirlo del T, ok, porque yo sé que Daniel lo dijo y algunos de ustedes sí lo dijeron, pero quería hacerlo que analizaran, guys, que se acordaran. <ríe> Por eso, ok, pero sí es con T. ¿Sois? ¿Cómo es entonces? Finished. 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 <ríe> Finished. 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 Ajá. Finished. 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 Ahorita les voy a pasar el video y como tarea lo van a ver, guys, ok. Homework, homework. Two hours <laughs> watching the video. No, it's just six minutes. Y hasta uh -huh. este video les mandé. Ven que ustedes no ponen atención a los videos que les mando. No se imaginan, yo estoy pagando. Ah, mentira. Estoy pagando por los videos, ¿verdad? No, guys, I'm just kidding. Ahorita se los mando, ¿ok? Les voy a mandar el video. Cristian, no sabía, sorry, perdóneme, no había visto su mensaje. Thank you, thank you for being 
Don't worry. A listener anymore. Y ya decía, miren, Cris, esa se salió de la reunión o no sé qué estaba por participar. Decía yo. Y ya había dicho de que estaba ready. Dormido estaba. Oiga, no. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, Jennifer, don't worry, it's fine. Okay, Jennifer, thank you. Um, okay, so guys, ahí les mandé el videito, vaya. Como tarea lo van a ver, okay? Unas, todas las veces que sea necesario para que entenderle, guys. Eh, es un tema no tan, así que se diga, ah, ahorita lo van a entender. No, eh, si tienen preguntas me lo dicen, pero recuérdense. Siempre para ustedes probar, pónganse eh, su, ma, su dedo, dos deditos a cabe en la, en la garganta para ver cuál es el último sonido del verbo, del verbo, ¿ok? El verbo tiene que estar en base forma, por ejemplo, run, let's see, write, uh, take, etc., It, etc. Entonces, ¿cuál es el último sonido de ese verbo? Basado en el último sonido, si es vibra con vibración o no vibración, usted va a decidir si es la pronunciación de la ED. Para verbos regulares nada más va a ser con T o con D. Y hay otros que son con el ID, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, eh, <coughs> start, started, porque termina en T, started. ¿Sí? Eso ya lo vimos. <ríe> y los que son primera vez que lo estamos viendo, guys, sorry, de verdad que los confundo un poquito. Um, lastimosamente no estamos viendo el, el pass, pero si ustedes necesitan más explicación, con gusto yo les puedo ayudar, mándenme un WhatsApp y yo les ayudo, pero vean el video. ¿Ok? Pero, eh, that's pretty much. Sorry que me tiene este topic. Pero créanme que eso es muy importante para saber pronunciar los verbos en pasado. ¿Ok? So, regresando a la conversación, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, we were practicing pronunciation, guys. That, that was the main reason, ¿ok? Ok. So, finished, right? Repeat after me. Finished. 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 Mm -hmm. Finished. Interviewing. 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 Very good. Interviewing. Potential. 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 Employees. Um, let's see. Changes. 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 Queso. 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 Ahora miren la, la, el, el, el último sonido de, de, de Rescheschel. Rescheschel. Oh, oh. Well, that is vibration. So, with vibration, you do the D. Rescheschel. Rescheschel. Them. 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 Okay. Uh, <laughs> Personnel. 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 Okay. Personnel. Porque si yo digo de, de, de personal, okay, in English is personal. 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 Y este de personal o staff es personnel. Personnel. Okay. Ordering. 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 Inventory. 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 Janet's job. Janet's job. Janet's job. Janet's job. Very good. 
Okay, guys, I want everyone to repeat after me so you will participate. But everyone, guys, everyone, that is time to participate, to pronounce, uh, to, to practice the pronunciation. So repeat after me, guys, the, uh, in a way that you practice the pronunciation, okay? <clears throat> Hagámoslo exacto con intonación, con punctuation, puntuación, eh, con pausas, pauses, eh, todo, todo relacionado a, a esto, ¿ok? A la pronunciación. Hagámoslo como lo va a hacer teacher ahorita. Si se equivoca, si se equivoca teacher, perdónenla, ¿ok? Pero let's repeat after me, ¿ok? Everyone, guys, repeat. Um, good morning, Marcus. Good morning, morning Marcus. Good morning, Marcus. How is your day going? How, How is your day, day going? How is your day going? Pretty good. Pretty, Pretty good. good. Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then... I have to talk to the staff about some changes in this schedule. Then I have to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. I see. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. I, I saw, saw some people, people in the reception when I can. When I can. Yes, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. Yes, yes. I, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. Tomorrow. Some of them. Some of them. Some of them. I need to make some calls in some minutes. I need I to make to make some, 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 some minutes. Anyways, how about you? Anyways, Anyways how, about how about you? you? Just the usual. Yeah, just the, just usual. the usual. Let's repeat again. Lo voy a hacer todo. Uh, just the usual. Checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Jeanette's job. I thought ordering, ordering the inventory was Jeanette's job. Was Jeanette's job. Very good. Okay, great job, guys. Questions about pronunciation? Questions about pronunciation? No? No. Okay. No. Great. Guys, what kind of job does Marcus have? What kind of job does Marcus have here? He is a is an interviewer. He's an interviewer. Very good. All right. Perfect. Uh, what are some of his responsibilities, guys? Marco's responsibilities. He has to make an interview. He has to answer or make some calls. I I can see where only that. Like Very it. good. Great. How similar are the activities they do with the ones you do, guys? How similar are those activities for the uh, compared with the ones that you do? Guys? How similar are they? Are they similar? No? Yes? No. Okay. Very good. All right, so guys, uh, let me see page 25. 
Uh, let's go to the page 26. All right, we have a speaking and writing practice on the page 26. All right, this is the page 26. One moment, please. Go to the page 26, guys. And uh, since we're talking about everyday tasks, take a look at some common tasks of personnel at a restaurant. How different or similar are with yours? Here we have some of the uh, activities that a uh, personnel of the restaurant do every day, okay? The personnel or the staff of the restaurant, the restaurant staff do every day. Number one, meet the head chef to review the weekly menu, okay? Number two, call a marketing company about promotional souvenirs. Number three, Order the inventory. Number four, talk to the staff about changes in the schedule. Interview potential employees and check the weekly schedule. This is what a staff or the personnel of the restaurant do, okay? Are they similar to, to the ones that you do, guys? Any activity that is similar to the, one that, to the ones that you do? ¿Alguna que se parezca? ¿Alguna actividad a las que ustedes hacen? No. Any activity is similar to the ones that you do? No, for me. No? In my, case, no. In my case, yes. Yes, all right. Tell me the ones that are similar to, to, your, to your job. Uh, for example, I have to interview with some um customer i have to make a calls in all day mm -hmm. and um i i have to uh, get um new customer you need to get customers okay perfect all right so guys uh let's see now we have uh, to practice okay let's go ahead and practice Let's go ahead and write about, give me a second because I'm listening. There is a background sound, guys. I don't know where. Okay, so write the task that you do in your work, please. Okay, let's go ahead and now write the task, las tareas, okay, que usted hace en su lugar de trabajo. Lo que usted norm, normally you do, okay? Lo que usted normalmente hace en su lugar de trabajo. Get in pairs and ask your classmate about the task that he or she does in her workplace. And compare your task, okay? Let's go ahead and make pairs right now. And talk to your partner about the task that he, she does and the ones that you do at work, okay? Hablen de las tareas que ustedes hacen en el trabajo. Anótenlas, las suyas y la de su compañero en el cuadrito. If you want just practicing, for me it's better. It's okay, all right? Si quieren solo practicar speaking, that would be awesome for me, okay? It's, it's the, main, the main thing here. So we will make the breakout room so you will work together. Let's see... Let me get a second. So I will create the breaker rooms. Okay. Guys, questions? No questions, guys? No. No questions? Okay. I will uh, send it to you to some breaker rooms. You will practice. Mm, let me get a second. Okay. I'm assigning to you to the to the rooms, guys. Could you please click on join? Si alguien todavía está de listener, let me know, guys. Please, me deja saber para que yo no lo asigne. Uh, Jessica, El Carmen, are you a listener? Are you here? Are you participating? Sí, está bien. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Okay, Jonathan, 
are you participating? I believe yes. Jonathan, I believe yes, okay. Ezekiel, okay, no. Ajá, Marcos Antonio, ¿qué se nos había hecho? Yo escribí, teacher, estaba en el tráfico. I know, don't worry. Daniel Ezequiel, Luis, no. Ok, Mabel. Mabel, yes. Julio César. Ok. Great, guys. Could you please click and join? Guys, click and join, please. Guys, click and join. Mabel, Julio César, Marcos Antonio, Jennifer, Kenny, please click and join, please. Guys, a los que están de listeners, los voy a poner de listeners en los break rooms, ¿ok? Para que escuchen. A los que están de listeners. Kenny, click and join, please. Julio, Jennifer, click and join. Oh, Jennifer cannot participate. Sorry. Let me fix it. You write and I write mine, and then we discuss about this one and try to get the okay. your, your activities or my yeah. activity. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, for example, in my activity in my job, um, all day in the morning, uh, for example, uh, check email um, in the morning exactly eight, eight, oh, oh, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Ah, okay, yes. This is your, your this is customer or, or client? Oh, yes, my client. Um, um, consist my work in, in, I, I check the, the list or the, I don't know the list of alumnos, the, the student list, the name. The attendance list. The attendance list. The attendance list. Uh, in, I have to write report um, when I have a... Okay, yo igual ahorita solo tengo tres. Es, es casual, es, es casual, task for work. In the morning, y sería programar las, 
tareas para el trabajo en la mañana. ¿Verdad? Es que yo. Es for work in the morning. De, de ahí la, la, la primera que mencioné, que es I prepare material for the different work groups. La segunda, I work, I take the stuff to the work work area. Yes. Okay, very good. I am going to tell you my activity. Uh, similar like I do, I have to check my email every day in the morning. After that, I I have to get a meeting and uh, with my uh, accountant co representative and check the uh what the same like you um financial statement statement nice. and, yeah. yeah and I have to I have to get um the uh, things for some um I don't remember how can I say deposit mm, which one Jonathan sorry uh, I, I don't know how how is the meaning of the word deposit throughout English the meaning in English uh, 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 or oh, 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 ¿Qué tipo de depósito? Sorry, I need to know. For example, when, when, for example, when you go to bank uh, to make a deposit <laughs> uh, of money. Oh my God, yes. how do you say yes. that yes. in, in Spanish? Depositar, depositar dinero. Ah, okay, okay, mm -hmm. I got it, I got it, yes. Uh, we can say like deposit money or put money like put money in one's account put money oh, okay put money uh, okay uh-huh we can say to deposit money or put money into an account uh okay thank you teacher. you're welcome okay uh for the assessor uh it's some uh, similar activity to that. Um, uh, oh, oh, only that. Just that, okay. Uh, now, um, um, you? my task every day uh, are check my mail, Every day in the morning. Check my email. Check my uh, check my in the morning. Only that the the in the afternoon is is a lot of activity activities too. Other other activity at. Uh, at at one o'clock, I return. I come back working. Come back. What mean it? Come back. Come back. I what return. Minute? I it is regresar. I return. Okay. Come. Ah, come back. <laughs> yes. Come back. Okay. Return. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, at one p.m. Yes. Yes. Okay. And then, then again, I check my email. Other. 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 Okay. Uh, you, you what is, what, what is your work? It's an, it's an in an uh, office. In office. Okay. Yes. And, yeah. De que se trata? <laughs> Perdón, en español. <laughs> 
Okay, no problem. It's a palette design. It's similar to design, designer. Designer, designer? Uh, designer. Designer. Yes. What mean is designer? Designer is a diseñador. Ah, designer. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Yes. This, uh, this, this designer graphic. It, no, it's similar, but it's, it's other, other activities. No, it's other, it's other activities. Oh. Uh, we make um, a pieces of the, the cloth. For example, piece of the chairs, pants. Ah, okay. Skirts, okay, okay. Short, uh, make it, make it. You, you, you company is, is make it um, close, proper. Yes, it's a maquila. Uh, ah, maquila. Okay. Yes, yes. You, you know, you know, are, you know, are este, um, obrero. <laughs> you are <laughs> in, in office. Ah, yes, I, I work in, 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 a, in an office. Okay. You bet for before you you start in you in your work um in office or or in planta what planta is yes it's, it's, the people know uh, like planta in planta <laughs> <laughs> okay education because the the school is american school the, I don't know, teacher, how do you say the horario is? Schedule. Schedule? The schedule, the, the school has the American schedule school. Mm -hmm. I am in, in vacation. Uh, yesterday you uh, teach, uh, you always work. You, you just working, was working. For the, For this week? Uh, I only check the, the email for I have a problem with the grade or I have a problem with the, with any parents or Chava, se corta el audio. Se corta, vea. Lo que te comentaba es que mi internet está malísimo porque no me han hecho la instalación del Wi-Fi y entonces me toca conectarme con mis datos. Y eso me está ah, afectando yes. un montón. Uh -huh. Eso afecta bastante. Sí, sí. Te decía que tal vez quizás me viste el año pasado porque yo tenía a las tiendas de Santa Ana. Entonces casi siempre estaba a, a ahí. Sí, sí, puede ser. Puede ser, yo puede visitaba, ser. Visitaba más la, la tienda, quizás la, la que más visito es la del centro. La del centro, te queda un poquito más la cerca, centro. quizás. No, sí. no, quizás. Eh... Teacher. Hello, did you finish, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes te okay. Jessica Sorry, que no is había venido. Out. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry, que no había venido, pero no sé. I don't know why I have problems viewing your, your breaker room. No los había visto usted. Bien raro. Se me habían escondido. Sí, pero... <laughs> <laughs> pero bueno, I believe we will go back, okay? Thank you, Okay, guys, thank you very much for joining back. <clears throat> we will wait for the rest of your classmates.
Okay, thank you. I believe everyone is here now. <clears throat> so I would like to ask you guys about the, would you uh, practice with, with your classmate? Uh, one second. Let's see. Okay, um, Jaime, what can you tell me about Jessica's daily routine at work? Sorry, my microphone is... <laughs> oh, don't worry. Okay. Um, basically, Jessica's tasks are call clients, reply emails, write financial report and takes meeting with the clients. Wow, okay, perfect, Jaime. Thank okay. you. Let's see, uh, Jessica, what's Jaime's uh, daily routine at work? Oh, Jessica is not here, right? Maybe she has problems with the internet. All right, let's see. Um, Marcos Amilcar, what is Fatima's daily routine at work? Hello, teacher. Hello. Hmm. Uh, the, the practice, uh, practice with my partner, Fatima, uh, okay. is, is writing and practice my, my routines and she, uh, your, your routine. All right. Yeah. Uh, my routine, my daily routines is I prepare material for the different work groups. I take the stuff to the working area. Work area. I. I take a breakfast at 10 a.m. Uh, I visit the client to offer projects. Very good. And what about Fatima? Do you have Fatima's? routine? I mean, her routine? Uh, let's see. Let's go with um... Osvin, Osvin, could you please tell me uh, Julio Cesar's routines, war routine? Yes, yes, teacher. Julio Cesar, Julio Cesar start uh, the work at 7 a.m. Uh, then uh, he visit uh, his client. Then uh, he offered the product at your client. Uh, Julio Cesar sells um, the a lot product. Mm -hmm. He sells offered. Sorry. Uh, yes, sells a lot product. Uh, Julio offered convenience at at the client. Okay. Julio help at the client with a different product. Uh, which product is the better? Okay, he, he helps, right? Helps yes. the clients he with helps. the product. Very good, Osvin, thank you. All right, okay. let's see. Um, Jonathan, what is Julio Cesar Ramirez? <laughs> Um, daily routine at work. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Julio Ramirez is an accountant. Um, he told me where, that uh, he worked in uh, Park Plus, I remember. And uh, his activity is, uh, are, for example, um, he has to call clients and check emails. 
Um, he also checked finance, uh, financial statements. He checked report in the afternoon. And I don't remember if uh, he has to make a meeting with the customer or with your his coworker. I don't remember so very well, but uh, that is all the activity that he may make in the, in the day. Thank you very much, Jonathan. I appreciate it. Okay, I want to listen to, um, let's see. Christian, Christian, what is uh, Daniel's routine, word routine? I'm going to try to remember. Okay. But uh, when he, when he writes to her job, he check the email, he, he, he prepared the, the work because he closed this time for, for any brand. Uh, he takes the, the launch of 12. In this time, he, he checks the Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp every day, uh, every every social media in, I don't remember because he he has a lot of a, a lot, a lot of, of activity in, a lot of a lot of activity in her world. Okay. He has a lot of activities on, on his on his job, all right. A lot of tasks, right? Wow, yeah. okay, very good, Daniel, and very good, Christian. All right, so I want to hear right now, guys. Um, Marcos Antonio, do you remember what are Estela Mabel's activities? Okay, uh, Mabel, uh, check your email in the Her morning. Email? Uh -huh. email in the morning all day. Uh, Mabel answer the phone every day. Uh, Mabel give in the information about, about our courses. Curso teacher? But how do you say curso? Or courses? Course? Course course? Or courses or courses. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, uh, courses. Uh, Mabel make make makes for copies and printer in the machine. Uh, other uh, Mabel read read the, read the, the messages messages no sé mensajes messages 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, guys. Let's see. Mm. Guys, um, just a suggestion for everyone, okay? Whenever you're talking in simple present, guys, please, please don't forget the S in third person singular. Que se escuche más pronunciada la S, okay? Cuando hablan de tercera persona, watches, okay, takes, eh, plays, all right, uh, makes, all right, does, all right, que se escuche la, la S cuando estemos hablando de la tercera persona, ok. okay. Um, recuérdense de las reglas también, all right, siempre pronunciémosla y eso va para todo, pronunciemos la S, guys, pronunciémosla porque si nos está escuchando la S cuando estamos diciendo. Eh, y lo otro que escuché, guys, es que cuando están hablando de, de, la, de otra persona, si estamos hablando, acuérdense de los possessive adjectives, ¿se acuerdan de los possessive adjectives? Ayúdame por favor a, a decir los possessive adjectives the way it is. Eh, por ejemplo, eh, let's see. Mm, actually, eh, 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 se llaman los, eh, estos son los possessive pronouns. Sorry, possessive pronouns. 
Por ejemplo, guys, con los possessive pronouns, si usted quiere hablar de... No sé por qué, give me a second, no sé por qué... Porque si, yo, yo siempre, la verdad, tiendo a, a, a cambiarle los nombres a estos. Es pues possessive adjectives o possessive pronouns. I believe possessive adjectives estaba bien, ¿verdad? No sé por qué, porque eh, me confundí, pero... O, o la verdad dudé de mí. <ríe> no sé por qué. Pero es possessive adjectives. Sí, ¿verdad? Possessive adjectives. Cuando decimos my, your, his, her, its, our, your, their. ¿Ok? Esos son los possessive adjectives. Los possessive pronouns son mine, yours, hers, its, our, ours, yours. Esos son los possessive pronouns. Pero los possessive adjectives, guys, son esos. Entonces... Tengamos cuidado al momento que lo decimos, por ejemplo, ok, um, ustedes quieren decir uh, um, his job, ok, estamos hablando de, del trabajo de, 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 de Jaime, entonces estoy hablando del trabajo de él, ¿sí? No voy a decir your job o my job, no, va a decir his job, ok, his job. Si estoy hablando del trabajo de Fátima, voy a decir her job, ok. Her job, her and his job. Cuando están hablando de terceras personas, his job para hombre, her job para mujer, all right? No podemos confundir el your, your job, your job o my job, no, ¿verdad? Your job, no, porque estamos, porque si ustedes me están reportando, digamos, del trabajo de Osbin, por ejemplo, y usted me dice, eh, your job is to, to design clothes. My job, le puedo preguntar. ¿Mi, mi trabajo. No, Osvin's job. Ah, ok, entonces sería his job. All right. His job. Sí. O sea, dicen, por ejemplo, pueden decir, um, my job is to design clothes. Your job, Marcos. No, Osvin's job. Ah, ok, entonces es his job, right. O si me están hablando de Fátima. Um, her job is to send emails, okay? No, my job is to send emails, no. Oh, your job is to send emails, no. It's her job, okay? Her job is to send emails. Entonces, cuando estás reportando a alguien más, guys, todos ayúdenme a reportarlo. The way it is, her job, his job, his name, her name, okay? Her, his. Le voy a mandar la... La imagen de los possessive adjectives para que los repasemos también. So, eso es lo que escuché. No, nada más, es como un feedback para todos. Eh, el hecho de, de pronunciarlo de la S, muy importante, guys, en las terceras personas y los possessive adjectives. Ok. Ahí les pasé los possessive adjectives y los possessive pronouns para que ustedes lo tengan. Ok. So, very good. Now, guys, uh, before you go, I will go, I would like to go through the attendance list, but <coughs> let me share the screen because we have a reading practice. Tenemos un, una práctica de, de lectura. All right. Here we have in the page number, one second, page 27, okay? Page 27. Go to the page 27, guys. And we will read the following schedule. We have a schedule of a restaurant manager. All right? So let's take a look. I mean, let's read this schedule for this restaurant manager and then write the time for each event. Okay? Abajo están otra vez las actividades. Usted va a poner la hora en que lo hizo, basado en el reading. Pero ahora vamos a tener, let me see. 10 minutos, 10 minutes to read this. We will read it, okay? We will read it individually. Lo vamos a leer individualmente. Lo vamos a ir leyendo. Y luego, eh, we will go ahead and answer the other thing. <coughs> si quieren, uh, de último voy a pasar la attendance list para que no los interrumpa. All right? So let's start reading it, guys. Please. Teacher, uh, teacher, Miss Salmos, uh, yes, 
I have a problem because you send us a sticker. If the sticker is very, very small. I can see well the, 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 the picture. It's a oh, bit yes. Very, very small. Qué raro, ¿verdad? Mandé un sticker. Mandé un sticker? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, uh, send a picture. Sí, lo voy a buscar como, in, in, como una imagen. Quiero ver esto. Está raro, right? A ver, vamos a ver si le mando una. Where is it? Ok. No veo ninguna. Una... Solo veo un corazón. Ok, ahorita lo mando. Ver. Ahorita los mando bien. Ok, here you have. Ahora sí, guys. Yes. Creo que está como yeah. picture, right? Yeah. Thank Let you. Thank you for letting me know. That's ok. That's ok. Thank you. Guys, si ven nuevas palabras, ahora no les voy a, ustedes no me van a preguntar a mí. Yo les voy a preguntar qué significa, ¿ok? So, look for them, ¿ok? Busquen las nuevas palabras, Google it or in the dictionary, ¿ok?
Guys, did you finish? No yet. Okay. Sure. Two more minutes, okay? While you are finishing, guys, I will go through the attendance list, okay? Mientras finaliza. Okay, Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Cristian José López Pérez. Present. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino Pérez. Florentino Pérez, no. Oh, Vaya, Florentino sorry. García. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García, sorry. That sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> Present Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Oh my God. I mix it with Christian's name. <laughs> Estela uh, Mabel Oriana del Cid. Present teacher. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present teacher. Jennifer Noemi Mata Aragón. Present teacher. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jonathan Alexi González Torres. Present. Julio César Merino González. Julio César Present. Ramírez Arevalo. Thank Present. You. Present. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Hello, Julio, are you there? Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. No, he's not here, Julio. Okay. Ah, uh, Kenny Lizette Cuer de Barrientos. Present. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Marcos Amil Carmencía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present. Ma Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Osvin Alexis Flores Hernández. Present. Sabrina Lisset García Orellana. Lisset del Carmen Hernández Mismi. Present. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present teacher. Luis César Ramírez Arevalo. No, he's not here. Okay. All right, guys. So let's see. 
Um, I would like to ask you some questions about the new vocabulary, okay? Let's see. Guys, what is the meaning of um, bussers? What is the meaning of bussers? I don't know, teacher. Marcos, didn't you look it up on the internet or did you did you look it up? Did, didn't you look it up on the dictionary? The new words? No. I share I share in in in, in dictionary um thank you. Uh, okay, what did you find? In, uh, I don't know. No say no say nothing to dictionary. It doesn't say anything. Who Google it? This word. Who Google that word? What is the meaning of buzzers? Buzzer. Um, say the truth is say buzzers. Buzzer. Yes, buzzer, buzzer. Okay. Is and what is buzzer? Uh-huh. Yeah. Someone who drive a bus. No. Ayudante. Yes. This is, the, this is the meaning in the, Julio, <laughs> in the Google. Espérame, Julio César Ramírez, ¿usted me, me dijo? Sí, teacher. Sí, se me hizo, lo estaba llamando para la tienda, le dice que le va me a quedar sin, sin, sin. Me sacó el teacher, me sacó. Ah, el ok. Sí, Vaya, teacher. Déjeme ver, Luis. Eh, lo voy a anunciar de nuevo porque no tenía nada de tiendas, Liz. Luis, uh, Luis, Julio César eh, Ramírez Arevalo. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yes, it's, it's, it's the one who helped uh, the, ser the one that serves the food. Okay. The bastards help the, the server. Okay. Or oh, the waiter. The buzzer are the one that cleans, okay, the, the table. El ayudante del, del, del mesero es, okay, buzzers, los que van limpiando las mesas. Okay, what is the meaning of shores? Marcos Antonio, what is the meaning of shores? Shores. Oh, guys, alguien, someone, what do you Tareas, Very good. Mm -hmm. Good job. Uh, okay, guys, what is the meaning of? Don't. Samples. What is the meaning of samples? Muestra. Good job. What is the meaning of taste? Probar. Proba. Yeah. O gusto. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. What is the meaning, guys, of handles? What is the meaning of handles? Handles. Is a help? Resolver. Resolver. Manejar. Ajá. Como si usted maneja algo, no de manejar carros, sino que de manejar algo como I handle maths. Ok, yo, yo manejo las matemáticas, yo manejo mi team. I handle Poder this hacerlo. thing. Uh -huh. Let's see. Dominar, um, dominar, very good. I love that, dominar. And what is the meaning of front door? That's easy, right? Yes. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much it. Tomorrow we will continue with this exercise, okay? Because time is over. Eh, solamente se va a caer conmigo Julio César Merino. Thank you for joining the class and I hope you have an amazing night, okay? 
See you tomorrow, guys. We will continue with this reading tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye. Tomorrow, teacher. Have a good Take night. Take care. Have a good night as well. Bye-bye. Take nice. care. See you tomorrow. Bye, right, teacher. Bye. See you. Bye, guys. See you Have tomorrow. a great rest. Bye, Julio. Take care. Hello, hello, Julio. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Hey, Un gusto saludarle. Gracias, teacher. Igual me gusta saludarla y conocerla. Qué bueno. Yes. Fíjese que este one on one, o sesión de uno a uno, nosotros lo diseñamos para conocer al alumno, eh, para saber qué necesidades usted tiene en la clase, en, en, en el aprendizaje de este idioma. Julio César, eh, algún comentario, alguna retroalimentación que tenga la clase, sugerencia, bienvenida, claro que sí. Eh, algo que le está costando mucho, algún tema que usted no entendió y usted quiere tener una retroalimentación, una práctica extra o que le vuelva a explicar algo que usted no entiende con mucho gusto o algún consejo que yo le puedo dar con respecto a alguna eh, habilidad que le esté costando en el idioma. Por ejemplo, usted me diga, teacher, mira, a mí me cuesta mucho hablar o me cuesta mucho entender al momento de escuchar o, o me, gusta, me, me cuesta mucho la escribir o leer, entender la lectura en sí. Eh, para eso está ese espacio. Eh, Julio César, de verdad es un gusto, un placer para mí tenerlo acá. Y pues, eh, dígame, el tiempo es suyo. Acá, ¿cómo yo le puedo ayudar, Julio César, para que este, este aprendizaje en este curso sea más fácil y se sienta más cómodo? Sí, teacher. Eh, eh, para decir y ser bien honesto, eh, casi todo, <risa> casi todo me cuesta. O sea, eh, no sé, yo le pongo ganas, eh, en verdad, siempre lo he hecho en todo lo que hago. Pero eh, el inglés para mí es, es el, para empezar, para mí es, es bello el inglés, pero eh, me gusta tanto. ¿De que quizás por tanto que me gusta, sí, desde que estaba pequeño, pero nunca tuve la oportunidad. Pero eh, ahora la sea, tiene yes, y a sí, ver qué lo va a sí. hacer. Claro, eh, si lastimosamente yo iba más o menos, pero como me suspendieron como dos meses, no sé, o sea, me dejaron afuera como dos meses, entonces perdí casi todo el, todo el hilo. ¿Ya había empezado usted con inglés corporativo? Sí, es que yo iba en el intermedio. ¿Qué? ¿En serio? Ay. Sí, entonces este, quedé afuera dos meses, pero eh, no es justo. Mm. Lo que pasa es que el, eh, para mí el, el escuchar, eh, yo en las noches me quedo ahí oyendo, voy en el bus, okay. eh, lastimosamente mi tiempo, por ejemplo, ahora, llegué a mi casa como a las seis, a esa hora comí y pues como mi trabajo no termina al no más venir, ¿no? Que, o sea, al terminar mi en la calle, ¿no? Que aquí todavía los oh, clientes ay, están, ay. que hablan, entonces... Y como las ventas son mi, mi sustento, entonces tengo que atenderlo. Y, y entonces no me ha quedado tiempo de... A veces no me queda tiempo ni de andar escuchando nada porque no puedo. Sí. Pues, ajá, porque visito clientes, entonces no puedo. Entonces mi, mi petición es un consejo para poder escuchar, escuchar mejor. Y, y yo sé que el hablado sí o... El hablado yo sé que es malo, o sea, lo Ay, hago mal. no diga eso. <ríe> Julio, por eso estamos acá para ayudarle y créame que lo que más me gusta escuchar el día de ahora es que usted me haya dicho que le gusta mucho y que desde pequeño, oh my God, usted de verdad quiere hablar inglés. Créame de que eso, ese, el querer, el, esa actitud de querer hacerlo va a hacer que usted hable inglés, Julio. No sé cuántos meses o cuántos cursos va a estar conmigo. Voy a hacer todo lo posible para ayudarle en, en el tiempo que esté conmigo. Créame. Eh, me gusta y lo felicito porque usted no se queda callado, Julio. Eso es algo que de verdad admiro bastante de usted. De que, ok, el inglés 
Julio, bueno, usted ya, ya viene de tener más experiencia, pero el inglés, bueno, si usted me viera cuando yo empecé, no tenía esa actitud que usted tiene. Si yo lo hubiera tenido, hubiera así en, uh, aprendido más rápido. Pero a veces le cuesta a uno porque tal vez uno le da miedo a hablar, uno no quiere cometer errores. Y eso es lo que me gusta, que usted participa, no matter what. Y, y de verdad, lo que yo hago, Julio César, a veces, y, y yo, yo lo, estoy, lo implemento siempre, es que yo dejo que usted suelte, suelte como dice, pues muy vulgarmente, la lengua, ¿verdad? Para hablar, al principio cuesta, es lo que más cuesta, equivóquese, hable lo que, como sea, pero usted empiece a hablar. Luego vamos corrigiendo poco a poco, pero lo que yo no, yo no quiero y lo que yo no hago con mis alumnos es detenerlos en ese momento, porque yo ya me he sentido así, yo he tratado de hablar y como a veces a uno le cuesta hablar y a veces a uno lo, lo detienen o lo, lo corrigen en ese mismo momento y uno como que ay se, se me fue la inspiración, dice uno, bueno, como yo alumna, yo así me sentía, yo creo que con estos chicos, algunos, creo que como unos 10, digamos, 10 o 12 de, de los que estamos acá en este curso, los he tenido desde cero. Y créanme que es lo que más les ha costado el speaking, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, yo eso hice. La verdad es que al principio no, no pude estar corrigiendo a cada momento porque no me gusta. Más sin embargo, lo digo en general, las correcciones, ¿verdad? Para ellos. Y ahorita que ya van en ese nivel, yo ya lo voy corrigiendo un poquito más, ¿verdad? Pero ya cuando ellos ya se han sentido libres de expresarse. Así que yo creo, dígame usted si le funciona eso. Con gusto lo puedo hacer. Eh, cuando sí escucha algo que sí nada que ver o no es así, yo, yo le digo claro que sí. Pero me gustaría que lo siga haciendo, ¿sí? A usted que no le importe. Sí. Eh, porque mire, la verdad es que la mayoría de personas que han aprendido en este momento, que de verdad, experiencias que yo he visto, han aprendido porque se han equivocado y han hablado. Las personas que no aprenden son las que no hablan. Entonces, siga haciendo eso, le está funcionando y le va a funcionar. A usted que no le importe si lo está diciendo bien, que la buena pronunciación, que la gramática, que esto... No, pero eso le va a ayudar mucho. Eh, déjeme ver. Luego usted me dijo que para escuchar, ¿tiene problemas como para entender cuando estamos diciendo algo en inglés? Sí, dice, es que ese es mi problema. De verdad. Es que se, sí, en serio. Yo escucho en, en, en mi teléfono, voy escuchando a una morenita que es de inglés, eh, es, es 101. Entonces a ella le escucho. Y créame que por ratito siento yo que ya, ya entiendo y me quedo otra vez. Y así, así no sé por qué, qué me pasa. Pero yo por ratos este, escucho conversaciones o las voy escuchando y voy entendiendo y de repente, ¡puch! Se me cae. Entonces, no sé, no sé. Ese es mi. Pero yo quiero, o sea, yo quiero. No me da pena, o sea, sí me da pena, eso es que me da pena, pero no me da miedo. Muy <ríe> no bien. No me da miedo. Ajá, miedo no tengo. Super. Pero sí me da algo de, algo de, algo de pena. Sorry. Y, y además, en los, en, los, en los cursos anteriores, yo tuve como cuatro maestros. O sea, no fue así como usted dice que tiene a los muchachos desde cero. Ah, qué de bueno verdad? hubiera sido. Ajá, qué bueno hubiera sido ah. que así me hubiera pasado a mí, ¿no? Que era un maestro uno. E incluso llegó un maestro que eh, solo dio unas clases y de repente se suspendieron porque no llegó una teacher. Entonces, uh -huh. este, así hemos venido cambiando de maestros, pero eso que usted ha dicho sería maravilloso que usted llegara con, así como cuando yo estudiaba, que no estudié mucho, uh -huh. pero desde, 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 ¿qué me acuerdo? Desde tercer grado hasta, hasta sexto tuve la misma profesora en matemáticas, la misma ¿Vale? profesora. Ah. Ajá, ajá, o sea, sería bueno eso. La verdad, Julio, ¿tiene ventajas y desventajas? Cada cosa, ¿verdad? La verdad es que eso tiene ventajas y también desventajas, ¿verdad? Depende del programa, depende del lugar donde usted esté estudiando, ¿verdad? Depende de eso. Por el momento, creo yo que, pues, 
por la situación, no sé por qué motivos, yo me he quedado siempre como desde el 0 hasta, hasta el 6, desde el 1 hasta el 6. Eh, la verdad es que nos ha funcionado, como le digo, es una ventaja porque uno conoce a sus alumnos, conoce sus necesidades y, va, y sabe en qué nivel va, cómo lo va llevando. Entonces creo que eso ha funcionado también, pero usted aproveche de cada maestro que tenga, Claro. Eh, aprovechame que yo, yo estoy aquí, estoy con muchas ganas de que usted aprenda, Julio. Eh, pero sí, como le digo, mi recomendación, sigue haciendo lo que está haciendo. Sigue escuchando conversaciones, más que todo de nativos. Busquen internet, podcast, eh, en Spotify o, o, en, o en YouTube. Si tiene datos, cuando estén con Wi-Fi sí. más que todo, vea y busque en native o en, en hablantes nativos del idioma inglés para que usted ya vaya escuchando ese acento, lo vaya, eh, lo vaya comparando, ¿verdad? Y si usted también sabe que hay uno que me gusta, me gusta desde que soy un estudiante, me gusta que se llama Randalls. Randalls. ¿Le ha escuchado Randalls? Randalls, no, he escuchado. Le voy Randall's. a mandar eh, Randalls Lab Intermediate, creo. <coughs> Perdón. Se lo voy a mandar. Okay. Súper bueno. Randall ESL Silver Listening. Oh my God, esto sí es súper viejito ya. Creo que todavía ese video es él, pero súper, súper good. Me gusta mucho, la verdad, porque él habla súper bien y lleva como el, 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 el the written part la, la, para que usted vaya viendo el, el listening el transcript y, y todo ahí a la par. Se lo voy a okay. mandar y I really like this page. Ahorita se lo voy a mandar, pero es okay. Randall's el que lo lea. Así se llama él, Randall's. Déjeme ver. Creo que este es, sí. Oh, sí, él es, mire. Le voy a pasar a este website y se lo voy a pasar al grupo súper bueno. Utilícelo porque usted escucha, por ejemplo, eh, audio de él, pero a la par está la letra. Entonces, eso le va a ayudar a entender un poquito mejor, mejor donde usted vaya comparando la letra y el listening al mismo tiempo. Ahorita mandé el link para que usted okay. lo vea. Okay. Súper bueno. Y también hay ejercicios, new vocabulary y todo eso. Usted explore ese website, de verdad, yo se lo recomiendo mucho. Eh, cuando usted vaya en el bus o esté haciendo que otra cosa y tenga tiempo de escuchar, ¿verdad? Hágalo, ponga eh, audios en inglés, eso le va a ayudar muchísimo. Si usted tiene una persona con quien pueda practicar en algún momento, practique. Dígale, mire, yo quiero hablar inglés y practique con esa persona. Mm, con el speaking eso le va a ayudar a veces es muy difícil porque vivimos en un país donde real, realmente no practicamos mucho inglés um, nada eh, perdón, a excepción que usted tenga un trabajo ¿verdad? y que usted hable con sus compañeros en inglés si tiene una persona con quien practicar hágalo de verdad okay. se lo recomiendo si no tiene con quien, aquí estoy yo Okay. Okay, sí, sí. Mándeme Gracias, audios, muy mándeme en, en, en inglés, aunque usted piense que es la de aburrir, mándemelo, <ríe> ok, tome ventaja <ríe> okay. de eso, mándeme no audios, Después no, no, no me, me voy a dejar, lo prometo, <ríe> ya lo he hecho con varios alumnos y yo le digo, aquí soy yo, practiqué conmigo, si yo no le contesto, perdóneme, pero en el momento le voy a contestar, ¿sí? Y no se me enoje okay. si no le contesto rápido, porque puede ser que algo se <ríe> no, haciendo, ¿no? No. No, yo yo le voy a contestar y usted respóndame y ahí usted hace, pero ahí practique conmigo. Eso okay, es lo que okay. yo, yo le recomiendo con respecto a eso. El tiempo que usted pueda dedicarle, hágalo. Si usted tiene tiempo de practicar en la clase, hágalo, porque a veces es muy difícil practicar outside. Eh, me gusta, yo creo, sabe que, no sé, usted me va a decir, usted practica un poco de vocabulario, ¿O trata al menos de buscar vocabulario o no? Sí, teacher, yo aquí tengo, fíjese que yo me pongo a oírlos en mi rato libre, muchos, 
y tengo este cuaderno que desde aquí casi todo esto está lleno de vocabulario, palabras, entonces uh -huh. hay veces yo cuando están hablando yo lo busco, encuentro una palabra y así, y lo Me pongo ahí en práctica. Me gusta esto, Julio, súper bueno. Yo le digo, continúe de esa manera. Usted no lo está okay. haciendo mal, simplemente estamos en el nivel que debemos estar. ¿Necesitamos práctica? Sí. ¿Necesitamos más? Sí. Pero estamos bien. Me gusta eso que está haciendo con el vocabulario, sí que lo haciendo también. ¿Sabe por qué me di cuenta de eso? Porque yo escuché que en una conversación, en una práctica, usted dijo search. Sí. Y lo puso en práctica. Fue como que sí. yo me acordé, usted lo trajo a su mente, se acordó y dijo search. I search, dijo usted. Y yo dije, él practica vocabulario, dije yo. No sé por sí, qué. Sí, yo los, los anoto. Eh, incluso es que yo soy amante de, de escribir yo. Yo estuve en el ejército y yo hacía las, las planillas y todo, me encanta escribir. Y le gusta escribir. Me encanta escribir, no sé, me encanta escribir. Va, entonces le, le, le propongo hacer un ejercicio, Julio César, eh, con el listening. Busque a Randalls, eso que le mandé. Él se pone a hablar súper, es... tiene un boca, uh -huh. una pronunciación tan linda, Randalls. Entonces, o cualquier audio. Y como le gusta escribir, Trate de transcribir lo que va escuchando. A ver si le, le capta las palabras. Trate de transcribirlo y después busca la transcripción. Siempre busque un, un, un listening que tenga transcripción. Lo escribe usted como le gusta escribir. Y luego compara las transcripciones a ver si usted vamos entendiendo. Y esa práctica le va a ayudar mucho. Ok, teacher. Yo lo hago con la música. Con... También le va a ayudar. Tengo Muy varias bien. canciones aquí que las he escuchado, las he, las he traducido, ahí las tengo como unas cuatro o cinco canciones. Súper, Ajá. muy bien. Sí, me gusta. Entonces, como le digo, Julio, siga así. Y pues okay, cualquier dice. cosa, usted sabe, sabe que estamos a la orden. Cualquier duda, mándeme un WhatsApp si quiere practicar también. Y pues le deseo lo mejor. Siga así, yo le digo. Gracias. Continúe de la misma manera y ya va a ver que va a poder obtener frutos. Y pues no sé si hay algo más en lo cual yo le pueda ayudar o alguna otra pregunta que, que tenga para mí. No, solo decirle que es muy amable. Muy amable. Bueno, un placer. Sí, es una de las personas más amables que yo he conocido y me encantan las personas amables. Bueno, sí. muchas gracias. Sí, teacher, sí. Uh -huh. Ya sabe, un placer y pues cualquier okay. cosa estamos a la orden. Que tenga una excelente noche, Luis. Y gracias, eh, igual. Julio, y nos vemos mañana, ¿ok? Bueno, cuídese. Gracias, bye bye. buenas noches, Take care. bye, buenas noches. gracias. Take care.